afternoon. You're gonna have to grab a partner for, for this, uh, this session that we're gonna do today. And of course, we're social distancing, so we're not gonna grab our, our best friend down the road, hopefully somebody to live with. So we'll share the same germs. Um, we're gonna start out warming up in Surya Namaskar, or sun salutations. Um, when we do our partner work, we are not gonna do anything really crazy. Uh, really, you need three people, uh, a base, a flyer, and a spotter. We don't have a spotter, so we're gonna go super, super, super easy so that uh, nobody gets hurt, because I can't see you. So please be mindful. So we'll go ahead and come just to the front of your mat. Feet are hip distance apart, anchoring down. Lifting up through your toes so that you can feel the four corners of the feet underneath the big toe mound, pinky toe mound. You can feel the arch lifting so you can feel the inner and outer edge of the heel. Keep your toes spread wide as you can and hook your pinky into the earth. Ring finger toes, peace finger toes, and finally your big toe. Really anchor down through that big toe mound so you can still feel the arch of the foot active. Keep pressing down. You're gonna lift through the tops of the thighs. So we're not locking the knee, they're lifted. <clears throat> lift through the pelvic floor, scoop your tailbone under. Drawing your lower tummy inward and upward. Navel draws in tight. Lengthen through the spine, shoulders roll back and down, away from the ears, palms face out, away from you. Chin is parallel to the floor, but retract it so that the ears are in line with the shoulders. Base of the skull is heavy. Samastiti heat equals standing. And we'll come into this several times. Let's go ahead, drop your chin towards your chest. Taking the right ear to the right shoulder. Bringing your chin back to your chest. Left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to your chest. Bringing your head upright. Bring your hands together in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra, prayer. Shoulders again, rolling back and down. I want you to create a slight constriction at the back of the throat so that you're breathing with sound. Claiming your space. So it's really important that we feel our own foundation before we pair it with a partner. feeling anchored. We're going to go ahead and exhale together. As you inhale, release your arms down. Flip them back and up, full stretch. Exhale, fold. Press your hips back. We're going to melt all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. So we'll start just by bringing your hands to your shins, just in case our hamstrings are sneaky. And exhale, fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. A couple more. Inhale. Exhale, chin to your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, raising your face, your chest, coming all the way back up, palms to the top. Bring your hands into the heart. Sun breath. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise your face, your chest coming all the way back up. Palms meet. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come back up. And hands back into the heart. So our Surya Namaskar, sun salutation. And we'll start out very basic. Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, release your arms down, flip them back and up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. You're going to walk yourself back to a plank, top of a push up. Make sure your hips are not high, we're not in a downward facing dog yet. Use your core to strengthen. Exhale. Drop your knees. Bend your elbows. Your chest and chin come down. Scoop forward. Upward facing dog. 
Watch your shoulders. Roll them back and down. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips down or facing dog. Propelling yourself back. Hey. <laughs> Walking your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raising your face. Your chest coming all the way up. Palms meet at the top. Bringing your hands back into the heart. So what's great about this sun salutation is you're waking up every bit of your body. Your front, your back. Then we'll start adding in the sides. But you start waking up. It's like you're waking up to greet the sun, greet the day, even though it's, uh, it's noon. <laughs> or whenever you're practicing. It could be at night. So again, we're going to exhale. Inhale, release your arms down and up. Exhale to fold, bringing heat into the body. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now, this time you can soften your knees, step or hop back to plank. This time you can come down knees, chest, chin, or lower your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, down dog. Take your three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Shoulders rolling back and down. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. And exhale. Three. Soften your knees. Step or hop to the top of the mat. And inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Raise your face. Your chest to come all the way up. Palms meet at the top to the heart. So we know what to expect. Then go a little smoother. Inhale, release your arms down and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees. Inhale, hop back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay in here three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Soften your knees. Step or hop the feet forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. And exhale. Fold. Inhale. Raise your face. Your chest to come all the way up. Palms meet at the top. Bringing your hands into the heart. Release your arms. Samasiddhi. Keep just standing. Notice what's going on with your body. We're warming up all of the large muscle groups. Notice the smaller muscle groups, how they're helping to support the larger. So now we're going to come into Surya Namaskar B. Now I want you to bring your big toes together to touch. Spread the rest of the toes pretty wide. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. From here, as you inhale, bend your knees. You're going to reach your fingertips towards the floor. And then sweep your arms back and over for an awkward chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can keep your hands at your shins or on the floor. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Step or hop back. Plank. And we'll lower it down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You're going to take your right leg, bend your knee, sweep it in between the hands. Drop your back heel. Hips stay square. Bend your knee. You're going to come up. Warrior one. Like you just defeated the mountain, you're holding your sword high. Exhale, fold. Step back, plank. And lower it down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg comes up. Bend your knees. Sweep it in between your hands. Drop your back heel. Hips square forward. Keep your front knee bent. We're going to inhale. Holding your sword high. And exhale. 
release. Step back plank. Lower it down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay in here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Soften your knees. Step or hop the feet to the top of the mat. Big toes are touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Inhale, awkward chair. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Push into your feet. We'll come all the way up. Exhale. Sama Siddhi Ki, equal stance. Notice how you feel. You good? <laughs> Bring your hands back into the heart. We'll do that again. I'm going to do three rounds because three is my favorite number. So you glad it's not 40? <laughs> Exhale. We'll inhale, release your arms down and up. Awkward chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees, step or hop back. And we'll lower it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You're going to take your right leg up, bend your knee, bring it through. Drop your back heel. Hips stay square, forward. Bend your front knee, we'll inhale. Hold your sword high, warrior one. And we'll exhale, release. Step back, plank, and lower it down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg comes up, bend your knee, sweep it through. Drop your heel. Squaring everything off, inhale. And we'll exhale. Step back, plank. And lower it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You're going to inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. And exhale. Three. Soften your knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Big toes touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Sitting back, awkward chair. Push into your feet, coming all the way up. And we'll release. Samasthiti. Bringing hands into the heart. Last time. Just kind of finding your bearings. Notice how you're doing. So, of course, this is a, a really good warm-up. Anytime you're just feeling like, oh, I just want to go do something, but maybe you still can't leave the house or it's really bad weather, come to these sun salutations. Makes you feel really good. Exhale, prepare. Inhale, release your arms down. Coming into that awkward chair. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Step or hop back. Click. And we'll lower it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking your right leg like this. Okay, right leg up. And we'll bend your knee. Taking it through. Dropping your heel. Inhale. Warrior one. Exhale, fold. Step back, plank, and exhale, lower. Georgie always keeps me straight. <laughs> Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel comes up. Bend your knee, sweep your foot through. Drop your heel, hips stay square. Inhale, and exhale. And we'll step back to plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Staying here. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Soften your knees. Step or hop. Top of the mat. 
Toes are touching. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, press down, coming all the way up. So let's do the heat. Keep those hands. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. What do you notice about your body? is different. Um, one of you will give, one of you receives. And it's really interesting how the dynamic will change and you don't even have to vocalize. However, when you're partnering with somebody, please talk to each other. Let them know what's going on. Too much, too little, stop, put me down. We need to have that dialogue. I want you to go ahead and we're going to turn uh, to face, or face away from each other, back to back. We're gonna come into our wide forward folds. Now, Georgie and I are super close right now. Our bottoms are touching. So when we fold forward, someone's gonna get knocked over. So I'm gonna step a little bit further forward. You can step a little bit further back. <laughs> and you can take your feet pretty wide. Now, from here, we'll see. And my bum's a little bit bigger than hers. A lot bigger. <laughs> so hopefully I don't knock you over. But you're gonna fold forward from your hips. Not too bad. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I just want you to fold, get a sensation, a uh, feel for the, the pose. Hey, my baby. <laughs> so I want you to take your hands to the floor, halfway lift. So you could keep your arms straight, you could be up on your fingertips, but it's just a halfway. So it's as if your hips are being pulled back towards your partner. Not that I want you to bump them with your backside. But we're going to stay here five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Push your feet down and away from each other. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Abs are tight. Sweep your tail under slightly. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And we'll fold. Now, that might be as far as you want to go today. Just far from here to a halfway lift. Sorry, you bumped yeah. <laughs> From here, let's see if we can soften your elbows. Maybe taking your hands to the calf muscles or your big toes. Okay. Elbows are out to the sides, folding. You're going to inhale, exhale. One. Getting really close and personal. Inhale, exhale. Two, let's just do one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Three. So you're gonna take your hands back to the floor, straighten up. Now, even though we are lengthening, there's a lot of strength going on here. So you might feel your hand strength tomorrow. It's okay. From here, we're gonna try to reach to grab our, each other's forearms. And it'll probably be easier from the side, but since our mats are set up this way, we don't want to slide our feet. So we're just going to fall forward. And we might reach. <laughs> okay, so we'll a little bit of a pull. You feeling okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're just playing with balance. Oh my God. And if you want to keep one hand on the floor, that's fine too. I'm going to look forward just a little bit. That's going to help with balance. So let's stay here for three breaths. Does that help you? <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Woo, my hamstrings. And we'll take one hand to the floor. And the other. You know what? I told Georgie that you're, now you're not going to sweat. There's just a little drop now. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go ahead. Push your feet down and away from each other. Raise your face, your chest to come all the way up. Woo! You feel it, the legs? Yeah. Oh boy, do I. <laughs> so we're going to come into a triangle. Now we are back to back, but it's going to be the same cues that we use. Your right foot is going to turn out. Left foot turns in slightly. Take your arms out to the sides. 
I want you to take your left hip, you're gonna cock it up, reaching out as far as you can, and we're gonna drop down to your shin. Now, instead of reaching up and far away, let's see if maybe we can reach towards each other. Maybe lock wrists. Does that feel okay to you? Mm -hmm. Now this is gonna keep us in a good alignment. Full deep breaths. We'll slowly release. And come all the way back up. Right foot turns in, left foot turns out. That's not what it's all about. You're gonna cock your right hip up, reach your left side long, drop your left arm down, right arm comes up, and we'll try to reach again for each other's wrist, palm. Try to keep your side bodies long. You feeling okay? And you'll notice I kind of give her a little pat pat of my fingers. That's nonverbal communication. It's important. So I want you to take your left foot, turn it in, right foot, turn it out. So we kind of practiced this a little bit earlier, our revolved triangle. <laughs> so we're going to let's try to reach for each other's leg. If that's not for you at home, reach towards the floor. What I want you to do is to start to rotate around each other, rotating towards your front leg, noticing how that feels. Okay, looks pretty cool. And then hinge forward. Maybe reaching for your partner's thigh. Full deep breaths. Now, we can reach out. Let's see if you can switch arms so that you're grabbing into your other arm. Oh, so yeah, there you go. Okay. Is going to reach back towards you. Beautiful. We're going to slowly release. Coming all the way back up. Oh, so I'm using my legs and my core so much more than if I was by myself. So it gives a, another little uh, oomph to your practice, but you're also using somebody for balance or to help with the twist. So partnering is, is really beautiful. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So your right foot turns in, your left foot turns out. Okay. Anchoring down. You take your arms out to the sides. You okay? Okay. Let me know if I need to move. But we're going to start to twist towards your front leg. So we kind of are twisting around each other. Now your right arm, you're going to hinge forward. You're going to try to grab hold of your partner's leg. Reach. Full deep breaths. And I can feel Georgie kind of resting into me. So she trusts me. And we'll slowly release, coming back up. And that's beautiful. It's an unspoken moment like, oh yeah, when we feel comfortable. Let's go ahead and slowly release. Bring your feet back to center. So we're going to come into uh, an angle. So I'm just going to turn your right foot again out. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and bend your right knee. Now, from here, bend your right elbow. Drop your right forearm to your right thigh. And we're just going to reach up. And instead of up and over, let's reach towards each other. So again, we've got this nice rotation of the upper half of the body. Full deep breaths. And we'll slowly release, coming back up. Turn your right foot in, left foot out. Bend your left knee. Bend your left forearm, drop it down. And we'll reach up. Full deep breaths. Again, let your partner know if I need a break or anything like that. That's okay. And we'll slowly release and come all the way back up. Turn your feet forward. So we're going to come into a warrior two. So I'm just going to turn your right foot out. Bend your right knee. So we're in a warrior two. This time, I want you to turn your right palm to face the sky. Left arm touches your back leg. We're going to reach up and over, maybe rounding a little bit so that we can just kind of tickle, tickle. <laughs> 
and we'll slowly release. Turning your feet forward, left foot out. Bending your left knee, turn your left palm to face the sky. We're gonna reach it up and over. Full deep breaths. Wonder if we hook our elbows together. We reach out a little bit more. Try to look at your fingers. That's nice. And we'll release. Oh, I started shaking on that one. <laughs> Back to center. Let's go ahead and um, release our arms. You're gonna step together. So I'm gonna bring my right leg in. Okay. Um, also, we're kind of pushing the carpet that way, so let's come off just a second. Because that's all that's my focal point right now. Okay. So from here, let's come into a double mountain or three peaks. So we're gonna face each other now. So can you feel your legs? <laughs> can you feel your core just a little bit? So now we're gonna open the heart. Okay, and you can think of opening your heart to each other. So what we're gonna do, it's just a, a touch warm. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna bring your palms together. Now, from here we're gonna push our hands into one another. Reach your arms up as you hinge forward. So our three peaks, of course, we've got at the top. And then the bottom starts sticking out. So that's three peaks. You feel that in your upper body? Kind of push into me. Nice. I'm really giving her all my weight. So if she let go, I would fall. Can you give me your weight as much as you can? Oh, that makes it better. You can feel my sticky shoulder shaking. And we'll push against each other, slowly coming all the way back up. Let's come closer. Let's go ahead and take our right, or not right, I'm gonna kinda lead her to the side. And we're just gonna reach up and over. Maybe try to slip your arm in <coughs> and come all the way back up. Uh, opposite side coming down. I'm gonna reach up and over. And we'll come back up. Now. Swing dancing. So what we're gonna do is to take this arm down. You're gonna turn away. Ooh, and back up and around. Woohoo! Let's go the other way. <laughs> nice. And we'll come bring our hands back together. And release. Samasti. Okay. So we want to have this <coughs> verbal communication that if something's not right, we let each other know, but we also are keeping um, nonverbal communication, so we constantly are watching each other for cues. So if she makes a face, I know something is hurting her, <laughs> even if she doesn't verbalize. So um, let's come into a double back bend followed by a squat. So instead of grabbing hands, we're gonna grab forearms. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. Something also that's very interesting, if you're partnering with somebody, watch your hands. Are your hands down or up? If your hands are up, you are a giver. If they're down, you are taking. <laughs> um, and of course, since I'm in teacher mode, I'm doing this. Uh, also, uh, just for a moment, turn to face, let's hold hands. I did the same thing. I'm taking, she's giving. Now, depending on who you're with, and of course, this is a mother-child relationship, this might be how it is. However, even though I'm taking from her, she's giving, we kind of go back and forth taking care of each other quite a bit. <laughs> so, um, so I'm glad that I'm partnering with you. But it's just interesting how we will, our roles will come in non-verbally. We'll go ahead and take forearms. And from here, we're gonna come a little bit closer together, almost toes or almost touching. Now, from here, lift your heart. You're going to hold on to me as hard as you can, lifting up and over. Pull. Straighten my arms. If you want to, but you can bend them to really roll your shoulders back and down. So it's almost like the, the hips are closer together, but your heart's falling back. And if you're comfortable, let your head fall back. Give me all your weight. Pull me. There you go. And we'll slowly come back up and we gotta pull a little bit more. Feeling okay? So now we're gonna come.
come into a squat. Am I holding you too hard? Okay, you grip me as hard as you need to. We're gonna lean back, straight arms. So we're trusting. So again, if she let go of me, I'm gonna fall. Let's see if we can bend the knees. But pull, pull me hard. Here you go. Give me all your weight, I'm giving you all my weight. Whoop, pull her. The harder you pull each other, the easier this is. <laughs> and then push into the floor to come all the way back up. Whew. Is that okay? Your arm's okay? You need to shake it out? <laughs> Let's try instead of crossover. So this might be a little bit easier because I was digging into her. <laughs> I was letting her know, not only am I not going to drop her, but I need you to help me too. Your partner's are kind of sweaty. Oh. Just let me know if you're like, I don't like this. So we'll come a little closer together. You're going to lean back. Okay. Lay back. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can release the top arm. So we're going to pull the bottom arm as hard as we can. Reach it back.
She'll start her cat and cow. Oh, so good. And on a 
automatically I started breathing with her. Let's just do one more. So we're still going to adjust the lumbar. Um, this one just feels really nice. And it kind of brings that mind-body connection of, oh, this is what it's supposed to feel like for a downward facing dog. So she's, are you very comfortable here? And you can take your feet a little bit wider if you like. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a foot, I'm gonna step on the opposite side. I'm usually right foot and step in wide, but I want you to be able to see. So I'm gonna take, my left foot in between her hands. It doesn't matter if you're right or left, okay, but you're just in between the hands so that your other leg can step to the side. Okay. Now, I want you to think not of the lower back, but kind of the hips. I'm gonna push down and away. Okay. And just let me know if something doesn't feel right. So I'm kind of pushing her back, does that feel okay? I'm gonna start coming further and further forward until I can kind of lay on her. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm in a type of a warrior one. I can even bring my hands back behind me. So again, even though I'm adjusting her, if she moves, I fall. So I have to trust just as much. So there's a both are giving, both are receiving. I could stay here, or I can adjust. Let me know if you're like, I need a break. So I'm gonna take my hands again back to the hips, to step in between the hands again, and I'm just leaning. And again, this is kind of a reverse trust fall. If she chooses, I can get hurt. <laughs> Hopefully she's not mad at me. <laughs> and then to come out of this, I'm gonna take my hands again just to the hip, step into the side, and I'm gonna give her a push so that as I let go, she doesn't feel like she's gonna fall. And then I'm gonna let go, you okay? Okay, do you wanna to come to all fours or are you feeling good? I'm good. Okay, so we're just gonna switch, if you're comfortable. So, I will come to my, oh yeah. There you go, okay. So I'm gonna come into an easy downward facing dog. So Georgie's gonna step a foot in between my hands. And again, it's okay if you block anybody. It's just what you're comfortable with in your body. And then she's gonna take a big step to the side. Towards me. So your foot comes up like a lunge. Now, you'll notice that I'm um, hyperflexible in my back, so my back is swaying more than Georgie's. So again, this is gonna feel amazing to you, to me. Um, so I want you to go ahead and place your hands just at the sacrum, kind of bowing out a little bit, and you're going to push up and forward. I'm just giving it a lot of weight, and I'm trying to push my butt towards the wall. And you can see the adjustment. If you're comfortable, Georgie, you can start to lean in towards me, maybe taking your torso towards me. Oh, even better. Just give me all your weight pushing with your feet. And you'll see, I've gotten a lot lower to the floor. My head is touching. Full deep breaths. Now, Georgie, if you are comfortable and would like more, you can push your hands into my hips so that you get your bearings and take both feet in between my hands so that you're leaning. And just give me all your weight. You might even take your hands back behind you lifting your heart, but you're just giving me all your weight. Oh, that feels so good. That little bit of adjustment in my lower back. Full deep breaths. And whenever you're ready, you're just gonna take your hands back to my hips. You're gonna push down and forward so that you can take a leg back. And then we'll slowly release. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll fix the carpet again because we keep pushing and pulling. We're not completely on the carpet, it's a little one. Okay, so 
from here. Let's go ahead. Um, we are going to try to fly. And again, this is only if you're comfortable. It might be prudent to have to be close to something like a couch or a big cushion um, to where if you feel like, what's I'm going to drop you? There's just something soft. Okay. And again, this is only if you're comfortable and you want to go a little bit more. Okay. You really got to talk to each other here. So I'm going to start out at the base. And since we're kind of over explaining and coming kind of towards the end, it might be that just Georgie is the base, but she can also fly me. Fix this mat. Move this over. I feel like I got to be. <laughs> and again, I'm being really particular because if something feels off just a little bit, it's going to feel, you're going to feel it all in your body. She'll feel it in her body. If something just feels a little off to me. That's a princess and the pea type scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and come, come down towards the floor. And Georgie's going to place her feet. I'm going to turn my feet out, but she's going to place them on her, uh, on her hips. Right like at the top of, no, my feet. <laughs> on the top of your, your thighs. Play somewhere it's comfortable. And if, she, if we come into this and she's like, mm, nope, we might need to adjust. Now, as a base, I always turn my hands out to the side so that she can hold mine. So I am giving, she is taking. Okay? Um, now, we can come into that or we can come into something. Um, let's start lower before we do that. Okay? Um, so I want you to think of a downward facing dog. Place your hands by my shoulders. Okay. Like a downward facing dog. I'm going to take my hands inside her shoulders. I'm going to try to push with my feet, my arms. So I've got a bone over bone. And let your legs get really heavy and wide. And maybe slowly take your hands back to the sides and then maybe behind you. So I'm rolling her shoulders as she goes. You feel okay? Now, if I'm just a little bit off balance, I'll tremble. But once I feel steady, bone over bone, we're locked in, we're good. So keeping your legs really wide, bend your knees so that the soles of your feet touch. So I'm gonna give her a twist, you okay? I'm just gonna bend my right knee and my left arm so that she gets a nice little twist and we'll release and switch so opposite arm opposite leg and we've done this a few times you know <laughs> in her life so she's really used to it but the slower you go the more opportunity you have to adjust So from here, keep your knees really wide, very heavy. And then extend your legs. I'm gonna slowly let your arms go. Take them out to the sides. And bring them back in. Now, So my elbows are bent. Now, if I just take bone over bone, this is fine. See if you can straighten your arms here. This is fine. But if you want a little bit more, let me know if it gets to be too much. And you can straighten your arms. Does that feel okay? <laughs> Woohoo! So she's flying. Now, let's see. You can take all of your weight into this arm. Can you superman it? Reaching forward. I got you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> switch. So I'm using my core quite a bit. But her weight is, since I've got bone over bone, it's going into my hips. It feels so good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just to bend my knees. I'm going to push her away from me so she can come down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to grab hold of my feet or my heels. And then she's going to pull me. Oh, I like 
stroll a little bit. <laughs> and then slowly, show release, bring it back towards the floor. Oh, that's so good. I love being, the. I love to fly because it's, it's just a lightness, you feel free, right? But I also love to be the base because it feels, it's very grounding. It feels so good to the body. So from here, I'm gonna ask Georgie because we are we're running out of time. So we're gonna come into um, <coughs> a legs up the wall. Instead of the wall, we can use the couch. So we're just gonna go ahead and come around. And actually, let's just use my mat. And of course, you don't have to use a mat if you don't wanna. I just feel like if it's a yoga class, we should, <laughs> but there's no rules. I want you to go ahead and come kind of close to the couch. You're just going to lean up against it so that your hip is touching the couch. You're going to lean away. Again, let your bottom come really close. Laying completely to the side. And then from here, we're going to roll on our back so that we've got legs up the couch. And you can take your arms up and overhead. You can take your arms behind your head, at your belly, wherever you're comfortable. Maybe you can hold hands or, or touch in some way your partner, even if it's just your elbow. Now, it might be that my Georgie, my husband, are super, super ticklish. And sometimes it's a little painful in some parts to touch. So we have this um, communication that if something just is a little too intense, she'll let me know. It, since she was very little, she would come sit in my lap and say, I just want to sit in your lap. I want to be close to you, but don't touch me. Because it would just, oh, it would just, it was uh, so ticklish, it was painful. And even though, I wanted to hold her. I wanted to touch her. It wasn't about me. I wanted that connection. She was giving me that connection by sitting in my lap. But she was able to tell me, this makes me uncomfortable in my body. Now, again, I said earlier that a lot of times we don't listen to one another, especially the parent-child dynamic. We don't listen. So I could have asserted my role. Well, I'm your parent. If I want to hold you, I can hold you. And that teaches her she has no say-so over her body at all. We want to teach consent. We want to be able to say, even as grown-ups, to our doctor, something doesn't feel right in my body. And if somebody is always telling you, I know what's best for you, how are you going to know how to take care of your body? How are you going to know how to take care of your emotional body, your spiritual body? So it's important that not only do we talk to one another and express ourselves, but we listen, we receive that information. If something isn't comfortable, we need to speak up. That's the only way we're gonna grow, whether it's in a relationship or with ourselves. Trust is important, but it's also equally important that you recognize what's going on in your body or recognize what's going on in someone else's body that you have no control over and you need to listen, to hear them, and to respect that. Making full deep breaths. Just letting your body expand. as you exhale, allowing your body to sink into the earth. Feels like the earth now is your partner rushing up to support you. And that's such a wonderful sensation because it means you've let go. You're trusting. And this is also difficult just to let go. If you ever go to bed at night you lay down and your body just twitches. Your body's finally letting go because you've had that control really tight all day long and finally your muscles are able 
to surrender. So when we practice yoga, we're more aware of how we're holding our bodies, what's going on, the process. Yoga is not about putting your foot behind your head or standing on your head, even though those are great. The purpose of yoga is to be kind to yourself, to learn about yourself, to be okay with being still. We don't have to do anything. We can just listen, observe without judgment. And this is a powerful practice. When we treat ourselves with loving kindness, when we take time to bless ourselves, it recharges us so that we can take care of others, so that we're able to bless others. And it's important that we listen to one another. Whether you're privileged or not, it's important that we have that conversation, that we listen, that we hear, to be an advocate for one another, to love one another. I invite you to stay in Shavasana, legs up the couch for another five to 10 minutes. Listen to your breath, listen to your body, maybe listening to your partner's breath. Maybe they, you become in sync with one another's breathing, which is beautiful. Having those quiet moments that are not comfortable Thank you so much for tuning in and hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.